Hi everyone, welcome back to Bible Believer Ministry. Welcome back. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me from the beginning, watching my videos, sharing them. I love you guys and may God continue to bless you, bless your family. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Those of you commenting, sharing, liking the videos. Thank you so much. In today's video, I'll be talking about heaven and hell. Okay. Um, most of you might say, why is she talking about heaven and hell? Well, if you're a believer, you do know that these two places, they exist. And today I want to take the time to tell you my experience in both heaven and hell. I went to heaven when I was, um, I was around 11. I was in seventh grade. And I remember telling a nun at my school about it because I went to a Catholic school. So I remember telling a nun about it. And she was like, you are too young for this. You are not supposed to be having those dreams. And she told me not to tell anyone. She told me not to tell anybody. But, you know, I still went on and tell my testimony. I was young. And having that experience, you are not going to keep it for yourself. So it was, um, it was daytime. I saw myself on a huge field. And it was a sandy field. And I remember seeing a lot of people, a lot of men, and they were wearing um, olive green. They were wearing olive green robes. And I saw myself standing by the prophet Elisha. It was as if I knew exactly the time that God was, you know, sending for Elijah. So what I did, I, the moment Elijah's, um, mental fell like I, as if i knew when it was going to fall i picked it up i knew that i had to pick it up before elijah did so i picked it up and i screamed elijah elijah you know in creole in my own language i was like elijah elijah here's your mental so i jumped into the chariot now let me explain let me tell you how i saw the chariot it was i don't remember the color but i remember the two horses they were horses they were like of a pure white and also they had fire around them the chariot had fire all around it when i went through the fire the fire felt like you know a cold breeze it was so nice and i jumped in the chariot and like i was like i felt like i was short and elijah looked down on me and he smiled and i sat down inside of the chariot as we went through the clouds same thing as we we're going through the clouds i was not um i still had oxygen like you know i was not trying to breathe hard or anything like that and the air also felt so good and i could still see the fire around the chariot and the horses that were going up so when we passed through the clouds my vision went blurry I couldn't see clearly anymore. My vision went blurry. But I remember the first way we went into a meeting room. They had a meeting room. The meeting room was so beautiful with a huge table in the middle. I can't actually tell you what the table was made of, but a table was so beautiful and it was like they were making plans. It was a busy place, okay? Let me just say this. It was a busy place and I saw both men and women up there as well as angels. And on the outside, it was like, um, this place this place that never ends and it was like of a pure white color like the light it wasn't like man-made light it was a pure light yo that was one of my best experiences okay and yes heaven exists rather you want to believe it or not it exists just because you sit inside of your house and don't want to get outside into the sun does not mean that the sun stopped to exist okay so if you are a believer you know that heaven is real so my experience in hell happened this year march 2020 i remember um i don't remember who i was with but i remember there was someone with me there was a man with me and i was he was showing me around and i was walking around like i felt this sadness I was in anguish. I was like, is this where people really want to come? 
aren't they aware that hell exists and i was walking around like i was praying i was talking i was like i felt in distress for these people as if i could feel the souls as if i could feel what they are feeling so and i woke up my brothers and sisters heaven and hell they exist whether you believe it or not they exist and you will be judged God will tell God will judge you by his word God will judge you by his word you have to walk in righteousness it doesn't mean that you are not going to sin but it means that you will try your best to avoid sinning you will try your best and repent from your sins God bless you thank you for watching this it took me you know a lot of courage to come on here and talk about this please share subscribe and like this channel in order for more people to be able to you know see our see the videos that i'm posting and also comments and ask questions god bless you and bye happy sabbath